Welcome to the new Moorlbark station east of the Melbourne CBD. Today is opening day here on the 19th of November 2021 where we see the new Moorlbark Skyrail station take operation for its first day on the network. Let's get it. This is the down end of the station and we can see some nice mountain views in the background. Still a little bit of work needs to be done around the actual station itself even though the platforms are complete. Here is the up end of the station which is the way to the city. There are some concrete bollards, I don't know if they were intended to be seats but they do the job nonetheless. I did have an issue here with the passenger information displays. As we can see platform 1 and 2 both set a service to Lilydale, one at 157 and 2 at 257. Um, and also the announcer didn't say that this pl uh, the trains come in with about when there's usually about two minutes to go till the service comes. So the passenger information displays were wrong and definitely need fixing, um, which was definitely a downside, unfortunately, of the new station. Pretty nice touch there. It's got the 65 kilometers an hour. So how fast the train can travel at maximum speed on the down end. Now this is the stairs. So we're going down from the elevated sky rail to the ground level underneath the tracks of the platform. As we can see, still a little bit dirty from all the works, or pretty dusty at least. Um, I'm a little shaking while I was walking, but uh, it does look pretty nice. Unlike other Skyrails that I've seen, such as the Danon corridor, corridor, the bollards there are in some nice black color, which I think really complements the brownish look. As we can see, a little bit of work still needs to be done, but it's good to see that the platform is Open now, here's the waiting rooms with toilets, some more seats, nice green colour, probably matching the Ringwood overpass, I would assume. Here's a bit more of the underneath and up there would be the platform. Now let's take a look just outside of the platform at the level crossing. This is the actual crossing that was removed. And a live analogue clock there, how about that? Which is cool. And finally, this is the lifts. 